We're back at Walt Disney World. amazing at Disney theme parks and Halloween is no exception. Every single year at both the original Disneyland and here at the Magic Kingdom in Florida at Walt Disney World, they host Halloween parties. At Disneyland in Anaheim, it's simply referred to as Mickey's Halloween Party, but here at the Magic Kingdom, it's known as Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. As long as it's not too scary, but whatever title you know it by, it's basically the one chance you get to dress up in costume at your favorite Disney Kingdom. Guests of all ages, sizes, and shapes get to come here to Disney and dress up however they want. Even the service dogs are in costume. Wait a minute, what if those aren't dogs? What if those are just people in really good costumes? Misslefoot? Now this will surprise some people, but I've actually never been to one of these special events before. It takes a whole separate ticket to get into these things. But this year, not only have I come all the way across the country to check it out at the Magic Kingdom in Florida, I also checked it out back home in Anaheim. So let's enjoy the sights, the sounds, the smells, and maybe the treats of Mickey's Halloween parties. Right from the gate, you'll notice a lot of changes here at the Magic Kingdom once Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party starts. Both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom will be open shorter hours on these days for the general public. But as the general public files out going, why is the park closing at 6 or 7 p.m.? They see all these hordes of people coming in in costume, looking all crazy, entering with their special tickets to these special events. The cast members' costumes change in a flash, and then all of a sudden you've gone from enjoying your day at Disneyland or Magic Kingdom to enjoying a not so terrifying Halloween spectacular special event party thing. It's a party. Let's go. Not so scary Halloween party has begun. This Magic Kingdom is now prepared to celebrate my favorite time of year. <laughs> Disneyland in California, right away you'll notice some Halloween changes. Spooky lighting and amazing projections take over Main Street USA. Of course, the major feature of the Disney Halloween events is that guests can finally come to their favorite places dressed in full-on Halloween costumes. Normally, you don't see people in costume at Disneyland. It's a whole different ball game. Of course, Halloween costumes inside of the theme parks must mean trick-or-treating inside the theme parks and both Magic Kingdom and Disneyland are chock full of treats, treats, treats! All over both parks, strange Halloween balloons appear on the horizon indicating a treat station. They're looking for treats. They're looking the wrong direction because they're this way. At Disneyland, there's even one just for annual pass holders inside of the Main Street Opera House. I really like the way Mr. Lincoln has redecorated the place. Wow. Ooh, look, an exclusive bag. Now, Disneyland is much more condensed than the Magic Kingdom, and as a result, its treat stations aren't as spread out. They're packed into treat trails, where you have to stand in line a little bit longer, but bam, 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 more candy with less walking. I like it. Now, both parks normally during their Halloween parties have Halloween themed parades, but this year, because Disneyland has the new Paint the Night Parade, they've decided to stick with that. Meanwhile, here at the Magic Kingdom in Florida, they still have Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade. And it is freaking awesome. After the parades come amazing Halloween fireworks! At Disneyland, the show is called Halloween Screams! At Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom's regular fireworks show, Wishes, also gets a makeover as Happy Hallowishes! Now after Boo to You and Happy Hallowishes, 
Magic Kingdom also has the Hocus Pocus feeling spectacular, a whole show based loosely around the Sanderson sisters from the classic Hocus Pocus. It's brand new. Oh, fringe benefit of both these parties is that the crowds are a lot lighter than the average day. I mean, for example, look at this. We're only halfway through the party. Nice and spacious. Now both parks make use of fog machines to make the atmosphere a little more spooky. For example, look at Pirates of the Caribbean here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in the Magic Kingdom. Cause you know what that looks like to me? That looks like the fire inside that burning town has finally escaped the ride. On the foggy rivers of America at Disneyland, a strange quartet appears. Normally the Dapper Dans, now they've become the Cadaver Dans. They also have Cadaver Dans here at the Magic Kingdom in Florida. Do you, do you a little different here, but they sound just as beautiful. Now the Magic Kingdom here in Florida uses the fog machines in a few more locations than Disneyland does, but Disneyland's Rivers of America goes insane with the fog machines. Magic Kingdom also gives you a chance to meet Jack Sparrow, but you always have a chance to meet Jack Sparrow. He's right there most of the day. He really doesn't do all that much. I don't think he has a lot going on. He might need a new boat. Like Magic Kingdom's Jack Sparrow meet and greet, Disneyland in California also gives people a chance to meet their favorite pirates. But here, it's in the shadow of the sailing ship Columbia, which, let's face it, just looks epic. Oh no, Jafar finally got Jasmine. You know, I've been to multiple parties on two coasts with no costume. I really feel like I'm missing out on 90% of the fun. All right, 89% of the fun, but still, next year, I think I might need to dress up. What do you think? One super awesome thing they have at Magic Kingdom that they definitely don't have at home are the seven dwarves. Even Grumpy's Rumpy. I would totally get a picture with them, but the line is long. Very long. Might be the scariest thing at the Halloween party. Long line. One other long Magic Kingdom line on these Halloween party nights. And for another exclusive thing, it's a line for a candy corn flavored soft serve treat. Look at this, inside the courtyard, in the queue for Pirates of the Caribbean. More treats, treats. Now, other than being dark, most of both parks is not too different than it is, you know, most of the time. There's villain meet and greets and people in costumes, but by and large, it's pretty similar. But before you start thinking Magic Kingdom's got all the Halloween pizzazz, let's remember that even though some of their attractions have colored lights and spooky projections, both Disneyland's Haunted Mansion and Space Mountain are completely rethemed for the season. You won't find those at Walt Disney World. But then again, at Walt Disney World, they have a headless horseman. A freaking headless horseman! One thing that is very different, though, is the Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland, where there's a whole Monsters Incorporated-themed dance party! Guests get the opportunity to dance and prance with their favorite monsters. Look at Steve and I do a little scooty pooty. When all is said and done, though, the best feature at both Halloween parties at both parks on both coasts is just the amazing people walking around in costumes, and while the Halloween parties themselves aren't too scary. Every once in a while, I've seen a creepy creep or two in the crowd. Wow. Well, the last shows have been shown, the last fireworks have been worked, and the last treats have been handed out. All of these people are the stragglers, the last folks, the ones who have done their duty, and they're all going home to sleep well, so I better follow them. But thank you for coming along on this look at Mickey's Halloween Party in Anaheim and Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party here in the Magic Kingdom in Florida. Thinking about it now, I probably should have ended this video in Anaheim. I would have had a much shorter trip home. But either way, guys, we partied like crazy and now it's time to, well, you know, go home and sleep well. All right, subscribe for some more adventures. Check out our other videos and all the links down in the description. And I'll see you guys in Random Land. Bye-bye.
Jimberly costume. Nailed it. Here at Magic Kingdom, there's some sort of message on the ground. If only there was some way we could know what this meant. If only there was some way to know what it means. What does it mean? Nemoth Man. Nemoth Man. Happy Halloween, everybody. Ah! <laughs> oh, dang it. We're getting bonuses.